Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, I'm how fine. are you, Katia? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you for asking. Are you ready to finish the speaking part? I teacher. <laughs> sometimes I can't concentrate. Why? Because my nephew come here and ask uh, so tell me good night. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother uh, talk, <laughs> talk to me. So you have a lot of distractions. Yes. Okay, I understand. I am distracted. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we can control that. But uh, we will try to finish with question four. And if it is possible, we will try to do something else if we have time, okay? How yes. do you feel the practice from yesterday? It was easy, it was difficult, it was easier the, the question than question number one. I prefer the question number two because the question number one I couldn't understand because my uh, I told you. Ah, your nephew, right? Yes. Okay. Many here in my house and I couldn't concentrate. Okay, but it was easy for you to listen and read and... I prefer um, uh, listen. Listen, okay. Listening than reading, okay. And Very good. We, in the other uh, week, teacher? Which uh, one? Ah, the uh, next week. The last the week we are going to um, write. practice the writing. Yes, I, exactly. I... I, I I like right. Yes, in right. in writing you will have like uh something different. I I don't know if we are going to write here in the class, or if you are going to write before the class and you will show me, um something that you have written right. But we will I will try to plan something like that, and it will be just writing. Okay, so probably these exercises will help you with that. Okay. okay. Yes, lady. Good evening. Good evening. I was wondering if in this course we are not uh, going to revise grammar. No. No, actually, this uh, course is just for TOEFL preparation. Mm -hmm. I can tell but... you some things, yes, about grammar, right? But we are not going to talk about a, like a specific topic, like, for example, adverbs, like how they can... Uh, modify different things or adjectives or connectors. I can mention some things and give you some information about it, but we are not going to develop like a, a topic specifically. Mm -hmm. Just like, for example, this is just for you to prepare for this test specifically, right? Not for any other thing, right? But but yes, if yeah. you have any question, <laughs> yes, yeah, go ahead. My question was because... Um, I took um, the TOEFL IPT, I guess, or ITP. I don't know. But there is a difference between the ITP and the IPT. Mm -hmm. um, it has a part related with grammar. Not... I was like a grammar part. Uh -huh. mm, yes, actually, uh, the, this test, the TOEFL test, and according to the platform, we are just uh, checking the kind of questions, right? What kind mm -hmm. of question do you expect? How can you prepare for that question specifically? And how can you write? But there is no part in this uh, in this test, according to the platform, that we need to check like grammar or verb tenses or different things like that, right? Okay. So th that was I was checking also that uh, in the platform because I based the content in the platform, right? Yeah, I know. The in, in the other courses that are uh, following this, um, the one that we are taking is the same structure. I'm, I don't know. Uh, probably it's different, right? If there are other courses to prepare. Because platform. there are three, right? 
Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be different. Like probably, I didn't know uh, if you need, like, as you said, right, with grammar, mm -hmm. practice with more grammar or something like that. In this case, uh, for example, next week, we are going to write, right, for writing. So in this, uh, in, in writing, probably you will, will be able to check uh, some grammar, but not. Yes, because we need the grammar. We're yes, writing. yes, but not specifically. It will be more like, for example, if it is like the sentence is okay with the sentence or if what is the idea that you try to convey, right? The structure of the paragraph, but not specifically like adverbs or tenses or things like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's see who else is here. Just Lady and Katya. Yes, yeah, just Lady and Katya. Uh, how do you feel the practice from yesterday, Lady? It was good. It was difficult. Um, what's a little difficult mm -hmm. because we had to to concentrate in the information and mm -hmm. then prepare the answer, but. I guess uh, if we are doing we are doing these exercises, we are also able to to be like um, prepare uh, for the moment that we are taking the test because this is similar, right? Mm -hmm. It's similar, exactly. So uh, these are like similar questions, similar exercises that you are going to do during the test, right? If you're going to take it, if you need more time you can use this information for you to, to practice at home. So that's what we are going to do. I don't know if you feel better uh, in the way that we did it yesterday. Like for example, you listen to the audio and then you mm -hmm. start answering or do you want to, you need help from your classmates like creating groups? For me, it was okay the way that you did it yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the opinion of the rest. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes, because we can do both, right? We can do both. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is that I just have one question because um, it is kind of, it takes time to, for example, reading and listening and reading and listening and then prepare your answer. And then you have to speak and then I have to give you feedback, right? So it takes a little bit of time. But we are going to do that if you want to. We are going to develop question four as we did yesterday and then we are going if we have time we are going to to give you like a, a, another well a lighting round right uh, something else that I have prepared for today so let's see it's here Maritza thank you for coming Sirhan thank you for coming okay, okay. yes <clears throat> let's see here yesterday we were talking about a uh, question three and four. In these questions, what we had to do is just to read a paragraph and then we, hit, we have to listen something, right? So, and then we have to comment what we understood about that. So something similar is something that we are going to do today. Something similar, okay? Uh, we'll wait for the rest. And in the meantime, let me see here. I guess that I had the platform here because yesterday they told me, uh, somebody, I guess Juan Jose told me, right, teacher, in the platform there is a question and we need to send you the the answer for that, for that question, the, the example, and you need to, you need to tell us if it is okay, you need to grade it, right? Um, I'm, I don't know if I need to grade it, but if you want to, uh, for the speaking practice, yesterday we created a group also, if you don't want to use that group in that application, the application's name is Flip, and we created a group, so you just need to join the group. Or if you don't want to use that, you just need to record a message through the WhatsApp group, right? And this is the, the speaking practice. Let's see. This one, this one, this one is. Yes, this is the speaking practice that you have in the platform. And I guess that this is the only one, right? You just have this one, right? You don't have another one. So if you want to, you can read, you can listen, and you can read uh, this question, and you can record your answer, right? 
You can record it in the flip application that I sent yesterday to the group, or you can record it directly to the WhatsApp group. Okay, so if you want to, if you want to practice more, if you want more feedback, you can do that. This is the uh, speaking practice. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to talk about right now uh, about the question number four. Question number four is kind of similar as we did yesterday, right? We need to sum up the topic and main points from the lecture. So we are going to listen. This, uh, in this question, we are not going to read. Ya no vamos a leer, solo vamos a escuchar. So you are going to listen around 120 or 120 and 180 seconds, then 20 seconds to prepare. 20, but I will give you more time, okay? I will give you more time, like one minute. And then you have to speak again 60 seconds, right? I will tell you, okay, what do you understand about the topic? And then you say, oh, this topic is about this, it's about that, okay? In question number four, you need to think like a teacher. Imagine that you have a, to teach this to this topic to a 10 year old. So you need to uh, explain it as, as clear as possible, right? With clear examples, right? And uh, let's see, it says, it does not matter if you know about the topic because you have different topics, right? So you need to identify and define the topic. You need to listen for the two examples. You need to write details about the examples if you want to. If you don't want to take notes, that's okay. And then you need to report and elaborate on the topic. And uh, this will be like an example. I will tell you, okay, now we are going to listen a part of a lecture about archaeology, okay? So using points and examples from the talk, describe how museums preserve artifacts, right? So preparation time, 20 seconds. Response time, 60 seconds. So try to measure your time, okay? Traten de medir su tiempo. And this is an example, right? preservation of archaeology archaeological artifacts for future generation is an important task although the deterioration of objects and materials is inevitable proper preservation can make the process much slower and blah 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 and you will listen everything right so you, if you want to uh, to prepare your response as i already told you you can take notes like the topic what is the topic uh, preservation, right, of archaeological artifacts. What is that, right? What is that? What is the meaning of that? What does it mean? Then details, right? Examples. If you listen uh, that they are providing examples, try to talk about the examples, okay? So you are going to listen to uh, a lot of information. And for example, I can take notes like this, or preservation of arche archaeological artifacts creating the ideal conditions, temperature of relative humidity. These are just some examples of, of ideas that I can take. This is, you're not going to read it, okay? You're going just to listen. And this is the next paragraphs, okay? These are just some ideas that I can grab. And these are uh, the notes, right? Deteriorate slower, temperature. So you can take your notes about example one, example two, details, et cetera, right? Okay, and then after you take your notes and you listen to the audio, I will tell you, okay, what do you understand, okay? What do you understand about the listening? And then you will define the topic. Oh, the listening was about this and that and that, okay? Then, for example, um, the listening was saying this and they gave an example about this. And then uh, after that, they provide another example and then the conclusion, right? You can use this, uh, this is another template uh, for question four. For example, the professor goes into a ton of detail about this. So introduction, just 12 seconds, then 30 seconds for the first example and 30 seconds for another example, right? And then the last five seconds, just to sum up everything. This is a response. Uh, this is another model of a response, right? For example, I can say the professor goes into a ton of detail about the preservation of artifacts in museums, which helps slow down the deterioration process. After introducing the topic, the lecturer mentions that the stable temperature is key. Materials like paper and wood dry out easily. 
and the temperature changes too drastically, which is why most museums keep the temperature between 68 to 72 degrees. So this is like the perfect example, like that, like um, you don't you don't have to be like that, you don't have to be perfect, but this is just an example, right? And then at the end, this is one example, as you can see, this is the second example, and this is to sum up. So after hearing this lecture, I now have a better understanding of how museums preserve their artifacts, and that's it. Okay, so this is like, this is one minute, right? If you read it, it's almost one minute. Remember, do not read your notes. If you take notes, right, do not read them. Use them to speak from memory, right? If you don't need to take notes, don't take them. And this is the criteria to um, identify, right, uh, or to grade you, right? The general description, delivery, language use, and topic development, right? So this is what uh, you are going to be qualified for, to be graded for. Uh, this is that. These are the questions. This is just a template for you to pra practice at home, and you can answer these questions if you record your answers. Right? If you want to practice later, record your answers, and then you check if you have, uh, for example, if you have spoken uh, from fifty-seven to sixty seconds, if your introduction was fifty seconds or less, right? And you can check the details there. So. Um, some other uh, advice that I have for you, some advice is to develop a positive inner coach. Okay, don't think that you, oh my God, it's terrible. I don't understand. I don't know anything. My pronunciation is really bad and I cannot understand the listening. No, try to, try to uh, be positive with your performance, right? Yes, I, I have some mistakes, but I'm getting better, right? I'm getting better, I'm getting better. I'm having this uh, good. I'm having this uh, also in a positive, uh, uh, try to look in a positive way, right? The way that you're speaking or doing what you're doing with the TOEFL test. Speak with interest and enthusiasm. Even that the topic is not very interesting for you, try to speak with interest. Uh, record your response. If you want to practice later on, you can record your response and don't read your notes. So that will be recommendations for question four. Do you have any question right now about the information that I provided you? Sirhan, Katia, Marielos, Miguel, no, no questions. Maritza, no Myra. Questions. Okay. At this moment, no. Okay, perfect. So now we are going to do what, what I told you. That's what we are going to do, okay? It will be almost the same as yesterday. So let's see here. Okay, this is the speaking test part four. It says, in this part, you have to speak for 60 seconds to summarize an academic lecture. So you are going to summarize it, right? Listen to the talk. You make you make, make notes if you wish. Listen to the lecture and the sample answer, okay? So this is a sample answer, and now we are going to listen to the lecture, okay? It is around two minutes and 14 seconds. Two minutes, okay? Now I'm going to play it and you can take notes if you want to. And after that, I will ask you, okay? Ready? Okay, one, two, three. It's always been one of those big sci-fi questions. Is there life on Mars? Or rather, could Mars ever support life? Well, it is generally assumed that in order to have life, you need water. Well, ever since the 1960s, we've been sending out probes to Mars to try to ascertain if there is water on Mars, or if there ever has been, and in the 1990s, 1996 to be precise, the U.S. Mars Global Surveyor was launched. The surveyor remains in orbit around Mars to this day, and has some rather nifty equipment on board, including a high-resolution camera, a sensor which can identify soil and rocks, and a laser that can take measurements and map the planet's surface. So what have we learned from the Global Surveyor? Well, we found out that yes, there was once water on Mars, 
and in great quantities too. I'm talking oceans, seas, lakes, much like Earth today. They have deduced this because of the shapes of the mountains and valleys on Mars. They are the same shape as those formations on Earth that we know were created by water. In fact, some analysts are suggesting that there's still water on Mars to this day, but deep down, in holes 100 to 400 meters below the surface. This idea created quite a stir as you can imagine, and a number of scientists have tried to either prove or refute this theory using other evidence available to us. Some Chinese scientists, for example, have been studying a meteor that was collected from the Antarctica in 2001, but they found no evidence of water there. But that's not to say that there isn't any water on Mars, as Mars and meteorites are separate entities entirely. Another source of evidence we have is images from astronomical telescopes. But we can't see much of the planet from this angle, just the poles, and they're covered in ice caps dry ice not H2O so that doesn't help us one way or the other okay are you are you ready or do you want to listen to it again okay, <laughs> okay, again. Please. okay I, I will play it again I will play it again okay but take notes take notes and then I will ask you It's always been one of those big sci-fi questions. Is there life on Mars? Or rather, could Mars ever... The professor tells us that there was once war... Sorry, sorry, I will play it again, sorry. It's always been one of those big sci-fi questions. Is there life on Mars? Or rather, could Mars ever support life? Well, it is generally assumed that in order to have life, you need water. Well, ever since the 1960s, we've been sending out probes to Mars to try to ascertain if there is water on Mars, or if there ever has been, and in the 1990s, 1996 to be precise, the U.S. Mars Global Surveyor was launched. The surveyor remains in orbit around Mars to this day, and has some rather nifty equipment on board, including a high-resolution camera, a sensor which can identify soil and rocks, and a laser that can take measurements and map the planet's surface. So what have we learned from the Global Surveyor? Well, we found out that yes, there was once water on Mars, and in great quantities too. I'm talking oceans, seas, lakes, much like Earth today. They have deduced this because of the shapes of the mountains and valleys on Mars. They are the same shape as those formations on Earth that we know were created by water. In fact, some analysts are suggesting that there's still water on Mars to this day, but deep down, in holes 100 to 400 meters below the surface. This idea created quite a stir as you can imagine, and a number of scientists have tried to either prove or refute this theory using other evidence available to us. Some Chinese scientists, for example, have been studying a meteor that was collected from the Antarctica in 2001, but they found no evidence of water there. But that's not to say that there isn't any water on Mars, as Mars and meteorites are separate entities entirely. Another source of evidence we have is images from astronomical telescopes. But we can't see much of the planet from this angle, just the poles, and they're covered in ice caps dry ice not h2o so that doesn't help us one way or the other okay now we finish we'll listen to it two times i will give you one minute for you to prepare your response think about what you're going to say okay one minute right now
Okay, time's up. And now we are going to begin. Let's see. Who wants to be the first one? Okay, volunteers. Volunteers. Who wants to be the first one? Me. Sirhan. Okay, <laughs> Sirhan. Now tell me, what do you understand about uh, this lecture? What 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 was it about? Uh, it's about for the science uh, question for the search life in Mars. And uh, 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 tell you about the 1960 uh, role in water in Mars, uh, 1919 and 1996, for example, for, for uh, US launched global survey for the Mars survey. And the 2001 uh, 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 find a new evidence in Mars for water particles and the 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 ship or the sat, 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 satellite is uh, combined with a camera for high resolution. Okay, very good, perfect, perfect. Uh, yes, you mentioned a lot of uh, details. Very good. Uh, how do you say satellite in English? It's very, very complicated. Satellite. 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 Exactly. Okay. Satellite. Satellite. Very good. So it was about, uh, to sum up, what was about in one sentence, for example, what was about the, the lecture for you to sum up in one sentence? What, what? To sum up, what was the lecture about? in one sentence, en una oración, de qué era, la, de, de qué era el audio. For the expedition to Mars. Expedition to Mars, okay, very good. Let's see, uh, Sirhan, choose one of your classmates. Escoja alguno de sus compañeros. Ma Marielo. Marielos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marielos. Okay, Marielos. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I did. Okay, Marilu, you have one minute to tell me what did you understand about the lecture about Mars? Okay, teacher, I understand a little about lecture. Um, but the topic I think that is um, they have to, they want to demonstrate the life on Mars, but uh, for exist life on Mars, uh, they want to demonstrate there are uh, there are uh, there is water water. Um, they send a global global self. I don't know if the is the name <laughs> to search water in Mars in 1990 or 1996, um, but they couldn't uh, demonstrate to. Uh, find they they couldn't find a word on Mars. Uh, the lecture mentioned something about the, the pores. Um, they they uh, find maybe ice, but no no water. Okay, and in conclusion, I I think that they they couldn't uh, demonstrate that the, there is water in Mars. Okay, on teacher, that's it. Okay, very good, very good, Mariel. Very good response. Uh, a little bit more than that, I mean, but it was really good, okay? Uh, yes, I guess uh, some some works, but actually it was really good, like pronunciation issues, but it was really clear. I was able to understand everything. Okay. Uh, it's difficult to me. Yes, okay, it was really good. Was I am really, trying. Yes, it was really cool. This time was really cool. Thank you, you see, teacher. if you practice, you will develop your speaking, listening, everything. Yes. Okay. Speaking is the, it's, uh, difficult. It's <laughs> difficult. It's, yes. It's exactly. more difficult to listen or read or writing, but speaking. Is no. <laughs> exactly. Now, Marielos, choose one of your classmates, Marielos. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I, I I don't. I can see all my my classmates. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sergio. Sergio, are you there, Sergio? Yes, teacher. I'm here. 
Okay, Sorry. were you able were you able to listen to the audio? Uh, I'm not sure because I got it too late, but um, the last the last part of the audio I could I could understand that it was about um, uh, Mars planet mm -hmm. and the discover of water in uh, over there and something studies and research of Chinese scientists and only that <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't hear I couldn't hear as, uh, else as something else. Oh, yeah, understood. Yes, you almost you, you just listen like thirty seconds of it, and it was. I I, I got in I got in in uh, it, it, the final part of the audio. Yes, I understand. Yeah, I understand. No problem. Now, sir, you choose one of your classmates then. Okay, let me see, teacher. I. I guess we, I will choose Katia Maritza Monterosa. Okay, very good. <laughs> I imagine that. <laughs> I imagine that, okay. Katia, tell me, uh, what did you understand about the, the lecture? I teacher, I understand everything, but I can't explain you. <laughs> I try, try to explain to me. <laughs> Okay, I understand only that it was about um, some studios, scientific, scientific, mm -hmm. um, about uh, if in Mars um, it's water, and in if if the life can be possible there because mm -hmm. water is. Uh, is I know is necessary for life and like in the air here we have many uh, um water and lakes uh, you see uh, like that Probably. okay very good very good Okay, remember, uh, uh, do, what do you think is uh, the problem, the main problem for you to speak? It's uh, understanding the material or is like you don't find the words to explain? Sometimes when I think, I, I think many words, but when I explain, I... I understand. When I, when I listen to uh, some words, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. okay so you, you have point. to you have to try to explain what you what you listen right what you understand even if there is one word probably uh, you need to extend your vocabulary also and um, you need to organize uh, for example for this test you need to organize a little bit the, the ideas like I'm going to say this first then I'm going to say that and I'm going to say that that the things that I do understood right but um it's 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 we are like half of it right half of it let's see very good katya choose someone else let's see um, miguel ramirez okay miguel did you listen to the audio yes you should okay uh, miguel. you I have one minute uh-huh okay. what do you understand okay you understand i have an expedition to mars for scientific uh, guiding or driving satellite for get pictures uh, with the description the surface of Mars, uh, Mars planet. They call not uh, verify the existence of life or only pos possible trace of water and the consideration uh, of water is is not uh, not verified. Not not verified is the existence of life. I understand only. Okay, very good. Almost one minute. Perfect. 
uh, let's see, um, all of you in general, I don't know, uh, probably you have to uh, listen and also uh, shadowing, right? People that you like how you uh, how speak English, right? Uh, for example, in YouTube, I already different options for you to practice that. Um, how do you say scientifico, Miguel? Uh, scientific? Scientific. Scientific. Uh, how, how do you okay. say um, superficie? Surface? Surface. Sur surface. Surface. Okay. Uh, how do you say verificar? Uh, verific? Verify. Verify. Yes. Okay. Yes. You are the I most obvious. Practice. Yes, you are the most obvious. Oh, some of you, uh, they, some of you speak a little bit better. Some of you also have some problems with scientific. It's a difficult problem. It's a, a difficult word, right? Also, Katya had some problems with scientific studies, right? Studies, studies, not studies, and some other things. But in your case, I think that is a little bit more obvious, the pronunciation. I understand that you understand because you understood the uh, you use uh, different words, like complicated words, like surface, possible trace of water. That, that was good, trace of water, right? So um, you use um, like very, like you use the language that you that you hear and you use it and you understand like advanced uh, vocabulary, but you just need, uh, for some reason, you need to practice more the, the pronunciation. That will be my main recommendation. And also uh, just to, uh, just to shadow, right? To listen more English a little bit more. But in your case, okay. uh, I, I'm telling you this because you're the most obvious with the pronunciation, okay? With pronunciation. Okay. Now, okay. Miguel, choose one of your classmates. Uh, um, in my group. Uh, we have Lady, we have Irena, Maritza, oh, okay. Myra. Okay. Myra. Myra, are you there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, like very afraid. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, Myra. The vocabulary, the vocabulary is very difficult for me. Yeah, it's vocabulary. Difficult. Yes, it's kind of difficult. Okay, but we're going to practice a little bit more today. Myra, you have one minute to tell me what you understood about the topic, the lecture. <laughs> okay. Um, I think there has been a study on Mars about life and water um, on the planet. Um, meteorities. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, meteorities has been studied, studied in Antarctica, um, telescopes cops and satellites have also been used. Um, I think science wants to know where the water came from and if there is evidence or water on Mars, there is a life on the planet. Okay, very good. Almost one minute, like 40, yeah, like 43 seconds. Very good, it was okay. Okay, uh, what is, how do you say meteoritos in English? <laughs> uh, meteorities. Meteorities, is that correct? People, no, meteorites. 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 Uh, have been studying in Antarctica. Uh, so, yes, I guess that you understand the main point and you provide some examples. Actually, you are one of the few that mentioned about meteors or meteorites um, that they were studying, like the, the Chinese were studying. So nobody has mentioned that before and you mentioned it, very good. So yes, uh, the same recommendation as Miguel, as everybody, right? I try to listen to more English and try to check the pronunciation and try to shadow the pronunciation. Choose one of your classmates, please. Um, let me see, Irena. Irena, are you there? <laughs> yes, teacher, good evening. I was thinking about me and I'm sorry, but I uh -huh. relate to the class and I didn't hear the, 
the list. The audio. Oh, okay. The, the audio. And then, but uh, for my classmate sets, mm -hmm. I understand that uh, it was about a, a Mark Explorer to look for, to find water and to look for, for have a, an option where the people can live when they destroy destroy the earth. Okay, <laughs> that's how you understand, right? If the earth is going to be destroyed, you have to go to Mars. Okay. Yes, they are where, yeah, right. is, you where see? they, uh, how to say, migrate, maybe. Uh-huh, Mi migrate, yes, exactly. Migrate. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, kind of, kind of, very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, Irena, choose one of your classmates. I guess that is only one, right, missing. Uh, maybe it's Miguel Ramirez. And no, I guess it's Lady and Maritza. Maritza, you haven't participated yet, right? Yes, Maritza, yes. And no, Maya I haven't. Okay. Uh, it's, it's so you can... Maritza and Maritza are getting Maritza, right? Maritza and Lady. Which one do you do you choose? Okay, Maritza, please. Okay, so the last one will be Lady. Okay, Maritza, what did you understand about the lecture? Were you able to listen to it? Yes, yes, I listened to it. Okay, you have one minute. Okay, it, it was about a, to respond a question if there is life in Mars. And this is a, the scientists decide to, to, to send a survey to, to find out if there are there is water in Mars. To, to, to find the possibility to be to, to find life and they 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 are not uh, they can conclude if there there is water there because there are uh, some photo photographs that shows a uh, mountains and valley, valley that are similar uh, to earth so they think it could be a, 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 a proof that is uh, uh, the existence of water there, but they are not, uh, they can conclude. And, and that's it, <laughs> only that. Okay, very good, very good. I liked it, I like it because it was really, really clear. I heard that you were kind of nervous, but yes, it was really good. We really could, you were really clear actually. And there is a difference, right, between scientific Scientifico, but that is the adjective, right? And scientist is the noun, right? Scientist. So very Science. good, perfect. Yes, scientist. Scientifico, the persona, the perp, the people is scientist, and scientific is the adjective. Now, one, lady, you. One word is difficult for me is mountain. Mountain. Yes, mountain is kind of difficult, but you can say mountain if you want to. Yeah, it's it's okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, lady, you're the last one, okay? okay. Lucky you. Now yeah. you have <laughs> one minute for you to tell me what you, you understood. Okay. Uh, what I understood about the lecture was that the topic was related if it is life on Mars. Um, it mentions that to have life, we need water. So um, that was like a theory they were trying to prove. Um, there were also a Chinese scientists that were trying to, to refuse the theory because they said that they were studying a meteorite in Antarctica and they didn't find any evidence of water. So at the end, it was like not a, a true fact that there is life on water. And so th there is life on, on Mars because they, they couldn't know if it is true that we can have water on that planet. So that's it, what I understand. Oh, very, very good. Perfect, perfect. That was a very complete uh, answer, actually. Uh, you mentioned a lot of uh, examples. And I guess that also what you heard about your classmates helped you, but it was really good response, really good. And pronunciation also was really good. 
Perfect. Now we are going to read what was the, the listening about, okay? I will play it again and you will read it, okay? Let's see here. This is the text of the lecture. There was a lot of complicated um, like uh, vocabulary, you see? The professor tells us that there was Sorry. one... This one, no. This one. It's always been one of those big sci-fi questions. Is there life on Mars? Or rather, could Mars ever support life? Well, it is generally assumed that in order to have life, you need water. Well, ever since the 1960s, we've been sending out probes to Mars to try to ascertain if there is water on Mars, or if there ever has been, and in the 1990s, 1996 to be precise, the U.S. Mars Global Surveyor was launched. The surveyor remains in orbit around Mars to this day and has some rather nifty equipment on board, including a high-resolution camera, a sensor which can identify soil and rocks, and a laser that can take measurements and map the planet's surface. So what have we learned from the global surveyor? Well, we found out that, yes, there was once water on Mars, and in great quantities, too. I'm talking oceans, seas, lakes much like Earth today. They have deduced this because of the shapes of the mountains and valleys on Mars. They are the same shape as those formations on Earth that we know were created by water. In fact, some analysts are suggesting that there's still water on Mars to this day, but deep down, in holes 100 to 400 meters below the surface. This idea created quite a stir as you can imagine, and a number of scientists have tried to either prove or refute this theory using other evidence available to us. Some Chinese scientists, for example, have been studying a meteor that was collected from the Antarctica in 2001, but they found no evidence of water there. But that's not to say that there isn't any water on Mars, as Mars and meteorites are separate entities entirely. Another source of evidence we have is images from astronomical telescopes. But we can't see much of the planet from this angle. Just the poles, and they're covered in ice caps. Dry ice, not H2O. So that doesn't help us one way or the other. Okay, you see, so we had a lot of examples, right? The surveyor, it was about uh, life on Mars, and it was related to water, right? Uh, we have uh, mentioned about mountains and valleys, and also... Uh, that there were like huge quantities like oceans, seas, lakes, right, before. And then also um, they said that there was deep down, the water was under Mars or under the Earth in holes 100 to 400 meters below the surface. So that's why Miguel mentioned surface, right? And also the Chinese scientists, right? The Chinese scientists, they have another... Um, uh, they collected a meteor, mm -hmm. but they said that meteors or meteorites uh, in Mars, the surface is not the same, right? So, uh, and also they tried to use the astronomical telescope to check that, but it's different, right? That you cannot see a lot of the planet from that angle. So you have a lot of examples, right? You just need to pay attention. And now we are going to listen to a sample answer, okay? We are going to read it and we are going to Listen to it. This is a sample answer. The professor tells us that there was once water on Mars. There was a similar amount of water on the planet as there is on Earth now. We know this because of data retrieved by a probe which is in orbit around Mars. The probe was launched in 1996 and has been sending data back to Earth ever since then. It has taken photographs and measured the shape of the land so that maps can be drawn. From this information, scientists have been able to deduce that there was water there because the rock formations on Mars are similar to the formation on Earth that were formed by water. Some of those scientists believe that there's water on Mars even now, but there doesn't seem to be any evidence for this. Some studies have been done on a meteorite which landed on Earth in 2001, but there was no sign of any water there, although that doesn't mean there isn't any water on Mars, because Mars and this meteorite are not the same thing. We can also get pictures from astronomical telescopes, but they don't really help us ascertain whether there is water on Mars or not either. 
because from this angle we can only see the poles of Mars and these are covered in dry ice. So, according to the lecture, we still don't know whether or not there is currently water on Mars. It's always been one of those big... So Sorry, so that was a sample, right? A sample response. So you can... Uh, yes. Just guess me. Is that um, 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 British accent? Yes, yeah, kind of British accent, yes. Uh, okay, because it's a um, pretty different. Yes, yeah, it's accent. pretty different from the one that I was talking before, right? So, yes, it's kind of a British, it's like very marked, the accent. Maybe that's the reason why it's, it's pretty difficult <laughs> some, to understand, some right? Expressions, some words. To understand some expressions. Yes, exactly. But uh, right now, uh, this is just an example. You. You can find more examples. Uh, also, I will share with you this presentation and you will be able to, to practice more. And I will, uh, also we have here more, more links right at the end of the presentation. Now we are going to practice a little bit of the speaking, right? Just the last five minutes. Los últimos cinco minutos, vamos a practicar un poco del speaking. In the meantime, uh, can you tell me how did you feel this practice? It was difficult, it was not difficult, it was helpful. Uh, probably, I don't know if you have any suggestions for for writing or anything else that you want to mention. Like, how do you feel this, this practice for speaking? For me, it's difficult, but it's, it's helpful to the teacher. Exactly. It is difficult, right? Because TOEFL is not easy because of the time and everything. But for that, that's the reason why we're practicing. Now, what we are going to do yeah. is, let me see here. I'm going to separate this. And I'm going to close it. And I will ask you some uh, questions. Do you know what a lightning round is? Do you know what that is? A lightning round. Una ronda yes, de lámpago, right? Como una ruleta. Exactly. So I will ask you a question and you will have one minute to answer that question, right? It will be like question number one, just to review question number one, right? Um, it can be different topics, right? Uh, but you don't have to know anything about this topic. It can be, for example, I will ask you, for example, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? People should be fine when they do not wear masks during pandemic. And you have like 30 seconds or one minute to answer, okay? Just to check the pronunciation. So we are going to choose someone here. I don't know, is, 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 is anybody missing here? Alguien que falte? What is the question, teacher? No, I will ask you different questions, right? This, oh, okay. this that was an example, right? But oh, I will okay, ask you different okay. different questions. Okay, okay. Let's see. Yes, different questions. Okay, so no problem. Mm -hmm. Just question, to please. just just to practice the <laughs> just to practice the <laughs> the the vocabulary or uh, the speaking. Now let's we see. We are afraid, teacher. No, you don't have to be afraid, right? <laughs> just for practicing. Let's see. The first one is. Danilo. Danilo, but Danilo, is he, is he here? No. No, right. Okay. Wow. Very good. Let's see next one. Let's see. Really quick. Man. Nelsie. Are you there, Nelsie? No, right. No. <laughs> okay, lucky you, Nelsie. Let's see the next one. Sirhan. Okay, okay, very good. Your question is the following. Let's see. Do you prefer to study at home or in a library? You have one yeah. minute to answer, please. My question is I study in my house because, because library in the town is no not not uh, finding in this in, in the city uh, 
but for me is the study the, the and how because uh, I hide my my space for for put my computer put my books for my notebooks and and get started for study and anything else or or, or make a homework or only work on home office okay very good you see it's not difficult you see <laughs> one minute almost one minute very good perfect perfect very good so this is for you this is the way that you can practice okay this is the way that you can practice with easy okay. questions at the beginning and then complicated right more complicated let's see the next one we just have a little more time sarah are you there sarah no, no right <laughs> okay nobody <laughs> nobody's here right now let's see the next one juan jose are you there juan jose no all right you didn't come okay let's see the next one Lady, okay, lady. Your question is, let's see. Explain, uh, no. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Students should never ask someone else to help them grammatically correct their research papers. That mm -hmm. is kind of complicated, right? Now I will choose another one. Let's say, explain whether you agree or disagree with the following statement. Children should not be allowed to play video games. Okay, in my personal opinion, um, for children, I disagree mm -hmm. that children never uh, have to play video games because it depends on the video games that they are playing. Um, there are some video games that promote the violence and if they start playing those game, video games, they can adopt a violence attitude at the same time. But video games can be in a way helpful for, for children because they uh, develop that that is my opinion, right? They mm -hmm. can develop uh, maybe some abilities because they are so concentrated in, in at the moment they are playing. So I disagree with the idea that children never uh, have to play video games because I mentioned before what are my points. Okay, like very good. You see, very good. That question was that the answer was better than the. The first one, right? The, the first and that we practice question number one. That was, you see, you, you can practice like this. It was really good answer. Very good. Perfect lady. Let's see the last one, el ultimo, because we don't have more time. Okay, I think it is Sergio, right? The last one. Sergio. Uh, it says, um let's see do you prefer to run or to walk when you exercise oh that's an interest an interesting question because i think that all kind of exercise is good for health mm -hmm. Uh, the most important thing is that you have is, is that you feel comfortable doing something that you enjoy and you could keep on along the time. If you prefer to walk, it is okay because you can do it almost every day and maybe enjoy every time you do it. But if you wanna go uh, beyond your normal goals, you can uh, uh, give another step and run a little bit more with a speeder and, and, and try to uh, make an, uh, uh, a better effort to get your goals. Uh, but 
the most important thing in, in here is that you have to do something uh, that you feel uh, comfortable and allow you to uh, to get your health and and and, and fit um, um, goals. That's my opinion because it's the most important. Do what you uh, are able to do in in something uh, that um, allowed you to feel uh, comfortable. Okay, very good, very good answer. You see, it is really easy to practice. And that was a better answer than the first time. Thank you, Sergio. So remember that if you want to practice more, you can send me your audios during the weekend. And also, if you, you have the platform, this speaking practice test, if you want to send a response for this answer, or sorry, this question, you can do it uh, in the group or using the application that I gave you yesterday, okay? Do you have any question right now? No, at the moment, no. Okay, no, perfect. No so we, fin you see, you fi we finished with the speaking part. So I will <laughs> see you the last week for the TOEFL practice for writing, okay? Have a nice yeah. weekend and take care. And thank yeah. you for your commitment. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good thank you. night, Bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Happy weekend. Nice weekend. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.